Alright, sorry it's hot. I'm going to use flashlight one of the camera normal because as you can see I'm red and shiny from sweat. I've been looking all day, looking for a part-time job. Not saying my job's not enough, but right now I'm on call status and as many of you that work those other sort of jobs know, you don't make any money unless you get called in. And I've got an apartment to find, bills to pay, everything else. Uh, so, jump right into it, E3. Um, my thoughts on it, yes, I know it's a little late, everybody else has got theirs up. My thoughts on it, Sony's trying to make up what they did in the past, and they're doing a really good job. Uh, Wii U is trying to come behind, trying to do what they can to catch up. I had a big fight with a Nintendo fanboy about this, and it wasn't that fun. But it's the truth. When it comes to stuff like that, Nintendo's playing catch up again. Not necessarily because of the HD, but because of the 3DS. The 3DS to console, to the handheld wars, the 3DS is what's making and keeping Nintendo alive right now. So, the Wii U is just kind of iffy. They made a lot of promises they couldn't deliver on. Uh, Xbox... Xbox killed itself. I mean, let's be honest, they've got too many rumors they've got to address right now, and they got to do it in a hurry before the next reservations go out for the next console. Uh, one of the main ones being the always online thing, they've addressed that. The online, the, uh, used game system, they've tried to address that, but their answer was, well, we don't know how this is going to work, we don't know how we're going to handle this, we're telling you that it's basically not us forcing this, it's the game companies forcing this. And unfortunately, a lot of game companies come out and gone insane with it and have gone over the deep end with it because of the rumors and everything they turn around and they go Xbox is what we want Xbox is what's going to make us money screw everybody that wants to play our games for cheap screw everybody that wants to run our games first it hurts us well it's hard to argue that it doesn't hurt them it's really not but at those notes too I am not a rich person. I can barely afford Xbox Live. I can barely afford to be even buy used games. I usually have to wait for the Game of the Year edition games to come out before I can even buy something I want to get. So, that being said, it comes down to the old strategy of, like with Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff. Someone has to buy it new first before you can buy it used. And I'm not necessarily saying it's all a bad thing. I mean, my biggest problem with all that is it's basically the same thing as it has been with everything else. It's people that don't know exactly what they're doing thinking they need more money when we just don't have it. Same thing I've had issues with all along. Um, roughly any more jobs aren't cutting in unless you're making about $10 an hour. I make eight fifty an hour for this thing to go up to nine fifty, and I'm still thinking look at my bills and going, okay, I'm lucky if I can afford gas for the month. I'm lucky if I can afford that extra pack of cards I want. I'm lucky if I can afford cable. Yeah, that being seen, you hear my cable in the background. I live with people right now, so we all split up the bills. But when my fiance and me get, get married, that's not going to happen. Um, all this, I mean, my anime conventions too, but all this, and the game companies are starting to try to say, well, we demand more money, because it, it, monies aren't meeting the ends to make our games meet, and we don't want you guys buying it second hand, because it hurts us, and frankly, if you don't start doing it this way, you can kiss our ass. That's not the attitude to have. I know the $60 price tag is a little too much for some people to afford right away, and I'm not saying that it shouldn't be higher, but if you get a hit game, which is what you're trying for, you will completely get what you're wanting in a matter of time. Not, sorry, I have to keep looking at the clock. Again, I don't have my glasses on. Why? As you all know, they glare. And as you all know, I only have 10 minutes. YouTube hates me because I make anime music videos, so... Um, with all that being said, 
start trying to make your games better, guys. You really want to start paying extra for it. I mean, the storylines for most games are good, or the gameplay is good. You're getting to the point where you don't have both. And that's the problem. I mean, look at how many MMOs that went free to play just so they can get their customer base up. I'm taking a look at the Xbox One and going, there ain't no way in hell I can afford to play that and afford to keep that. Um, I'm taking a look at the PS4 and going, you know what, that seems like the console for me. I'm taking a look at the Wii U and going, okay, and he can deliver better on your promises. I'm not going to deal with you that well. Sorry. And, yeah, other than that, I have a good list of rants, like the reason why I'm on call, but I'm not going to say it on YouTube. I don't want to get this thing flagged, flame more started. My opinions are my own, and these ones are better left than shared. Oh, so, yeah. We'll see what happens in the new console race, but I think PlayStation is going to take a very good and strong lead, unless Xbox does a lot of damage control. Like Killer Instinct. Surprise! The one everybody wants to play. Get this. The rumor on that is you only get one playable character, and you have to download all the rest at a price. That right there will kill you in a heartbeat. Why? Because we don't play, we don't buy a fighting game for just one character. Alright, well, my piece is said, address these rumors, Microsoft, get your button gear, show us that you're going to be worth the console race. Why? I spend half my time on Xbox Live now. I don't want to jump up and leave because you can't get your shit figured out. And believe me, I will. I'm one of the few gamers that are telling you you need to fix this in the next console race or you're going to lose your ass. And possibly end up like Sega.